Sean as a cute. What's up y'all, I'm E. Today I have a new piece of gear that I'm gonna try out. It's the OP-1. I've had quite a few friends use it in the past. I've only ever used it like once before. So this video is gonna be my first hour with the OP and what I end up learning about it and how I end up kind of bringing it into the workflow that I'm already working. I don't personally own a synthesizer. So the OP is different than a lot of my other equipment which are the Octatrack, the SPs, all those are samplers that don't have their own innate synths, their own innate sounds. So i um, really excited to kind of see what the sound design is like in here, the different effects. I have a lot of different producers I really like that have definitely built their sonic signature with this instrument so I want to be able to kind of uh, see what it has and how it can kind of complement the music that I work in which is definitely not super synth based. Some of the producers that I really like that use the OP, aside from my friends who have a few, is like Monty Booker, a lot of the sounds that came off of like the Bari project, Smino, um, a lot of that stuff I know is coming from this instrument, so we'll see if we can get any kind of tone similar. I definitely want to see like the workflow unique to this instrument. I know it has its own arrangement view and you can kind of record whole songs in here and I want to see how different that is compared to the SP because I know this sequencer is kind of difficult to use and I've definitely seen friends use the OP where a lot of it is kind of playing it in. I'm interested to see what the uh, arrangement views are like here and how it can kind of provide its own different rhythmic feel to like what I create in the SPs currently. So right now I have the OP, I ha it has 8th end jacks, one in, one out. I have an aux cord to RCA running through my SX over here and my SX has out that is going into the Mark II so it's basically running from the um, synth itself through two different um, samplers afterwards so I can kind of add the effects that are um, living on these units on top of whatever I create. The main goal for today is to just really get into this, use it to the best potential I can and then bring it into my other two samplers and kind of create an arrangement with the sounds um, and structure that this instrument has. So let's get into it. The OP-1 is something I've only ever used once um, for a very limited time too, so I'm not really sure how it worked. I've watched a few YouTube videos on it and I have a general idea of the layout of the instrument. Um, you have the synthesizer button here on the left and for each of these instruments that you have, you have eight different kind of synth engines to work with on one through eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the synth one. You got drums next to it, and you got eight different things here. Some of the sounds. And then we got drums on here. And here we have the, I guess, you got a little button here that tells you what every mode is, but it's called the tape engine. This is where you record your little arrangements, and then you got a mixer here. And for each of these um, buttons that you have pressed, you kind of have four different windows within each. So for the synth and the drum machine, or the drum area, you have four different windows you can cycle through. On the synth one, you have just like the visual wavetable or I guess the visual look of the synth. Um, on two you have the envelope so you can kind of change the envelope with the sound. You got three which is an effects and then you have four um, which is I guess another effect or the LFO excuse me and it should be the same for the drums here. We got the actual sample changes with each time you hit it. Um, on two we have kind of like a transient shaper for the drums, um, on three FX, and then four LFO as well. Um, you press these to turn them on and turn them off. On the right side, there's like a sequencer area that you can change. We have like an arpeggio mode, endless, finger, pattern, sketch, tombola. I've used it a little bit with some of the sounds and I can get some pretty cool stuff out of it. Up here we have like the input so we can listen to FM radio, we can listen to whatever is going into the instrument through an eighth inch jack on the side. Uh, 
And that's most of what I've learned so far. I've seen some of the ways people are recording in. Obviously the play buttons play, stop is stop, arrows do certain things based on the menu you're in, and then we have all the keys. Uh, so from here I think I'll just dive into it and try to create something within the OP1. see if I can get this working. So we have an in and an out button and then a loop. So if I return it to beginning in, I'll let it go for two bars, loop. We now have it looped. Go back to the synth, maybe change this up. So the effect for this one, they all have their own different kind of like visual in between and these four knobs kind of change what the effect does. We'll see if I can get any kind of drums and then some synths over the top. Whoops. Let's hear what they got. Okay, so the drum track is all on two. I set it to that. Synth is on the one. So maybe now I'll take it into my SPs and see if I can get any cool effects out of these. I'll let this little loop that I made play and see if I could get anything cool with the uh, effects I have here. So I got a three band EQ. I kind of boosted the bass and the highs, left the mids a little bit attenuated on the SX. SP404 Mark II is receiving all this audio and I'm going to go ahead and try using the four um, bus effects on top of the EQ I already started. Maybe start with some of the 303 vinyl sim. Go ahead and record that into my SP. So now I've recorded it into the Mark II with just the isolator effects from the SX that it was running through. Um, and I'm gonna see how it sounds if I pitch the uh, instrumental I made.
So I made a little beat out of the OP. I kind of made just a two track, one drum, one synth work, brought it into my SPs and did a little bit of effects work there. Um, it was really fun to use. It was a little difficult. I was holding down the record and trying to play the keys in, but I really liked the rhythm that I got out of it. The sounds are really cool. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to make a couple more videos like this with this OP-1. Very nice unit. <laughs>